every so often there's a grand situation that happens and i've been away for a while in video fans so we're gonna have a fun episode today we're gonna be testing two gpus we're gonna be testing two windows updates and on top of that we're gonna be seeing the brand new update that i should have brought to you guys and gals in my community a little while ago probably about like maybe a few weeks ago but let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to be looking at some tests. Let's go ahead and go over the patch notes. My name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel, and we're going to be talking some tech news for NVIDIA. And this is their brand new 44614. Let's see what it handles. Does it do good? Does it collapse with a new Windows update that everyone was wondering what happens? We will find out. So there is four main things that this is going to be covering for this physical patch for the 44614 from NVIDIA and the Graham Ready Driver. You're going to be looking at the Valorant, Minecraft Dungeons, and the Disintegration on top of the Crucible. Now, let's go ahead and get to the facts of what actually is changing in here. One of the things that they added inside of here was the rate sampling and the VRSS support on the Onward, one of the variations that was actually fixed. G-Syncs and the TBD, down to the notebooks inside of the Maxwell generation points of the GPU experiencing higher GPU utilizations, winning inside of the game player leading in the reduction of the battery life and high temperatures, something you would not want in a laptop that would be chilling on your lap. No longer chilling. But looking at the SLI and the situation for frame and the spikes and the multiple games for that would not handle. Also on top of the HDR that appears to be the very bright inside of those HDRs. Now a lot of these hopefully will be fixes that I will not have to hear in the comments. But if they are, please definitely leave that comment so we as the community can walk forward knowing does this actually work. But make sure you leave your GPU because that's how we know if it's just specific for that. But the artificial portions of the Imperium portions inside of the game... Now, Resident Evil, on top of the list after we already cleared the Monster Hunter in the situation, we can see that some objects may be flickering on top of that situation for gameplay. And you don't want that. If a zombie's like, oh, trying to get up all in your grill, that, that's horrible. But, you know, F1 makes the list as the random crashes inside of desktops, which sucks because at least it's not getting the curb of like the missed texture that it used to get. Now looking on top of the fixed issues for as far as the shader catch is inside of the situations in the incorrectable portions of the purge upon launching in the applications, which would totally not work because you're trying to launch it and you have to relaunch it and figure out tricks. It gets really weird from there. But as we take a little bit of a closer look, the 1650 GTX series makes the list again for the colorful portions of its fix inside of the issues of what's going down. Hopefully it doesn't make it again. On top of the Corsair IQ and the program triggers and the GeForce and the overlay on Overwatch improvements and stability. So you should be able to smash some stuff with Winston. <laughs> There's some serious monkey business at hand in there. But anyways, going past that situation in the game ready drivers and the open issues that they're going to see, Windows 7 makes a very small portion of the list with the integrated processing portions of the cloning source in the display. They cannot be portionable inside of NVIDIA's control panel. Now, Windows 10 is a different situation as we zoom in. And you can see this is a huge list down from HTCP errors when validating inside of the VR down to Call of Duty when inside of the color banding and the situations and image sharpening on top of the notebook and the cloning and the integration where we already kind of had the already list. So they kind of fixed something but didn't really fix it, which means it's open on certain applicationable portions of laptops. You shouldn't even list it that it fixed. Anyways, looking at the corruption of the current inside of the game inside of the upon in the Steam overlay, and then you're looking at Call of Duty Warzone, which there should have been the fourth season that's coming out. Forza inside of there. Oh no, look, the curb. The curb that's still open and the issues. And the zombie army on top of that for the freestyle. Tom Clancy also making the list when inside looking at the situation of the Vulcan and the G-Syncs when you can very clearly see the workaround is the API. Just lower it. It sucks. They've not fixed that. But that brings us to some scores. We're going to start off with our 2080 Ti. Does it fare well with the new driver implication? It does, actually. If you look at the difference between Windows and what it's doing, if you have tensor cores and it's working, this is actually, unfortunately, the one that we are going to be seeing for the update with current 2004. But 2004 is not that bad. I am not talking crap about this update. Actually, so far, it seems kind of stable. 
but when you see a little bit of a, a change it's not that bad you see what i'm saying like honestly for me I, i'm gonna be completely happy with that situation for as far as the way that we can get into the uh, i guess enjoyment of seeing that there's a very nominal the new windows update it seems like it functions really well with the uh, intel applications and in running um tests a little bit more over the amd so it seems like they probably have to tune it out because that's more of a niche network and growing i'm not saying it's not <laughs> it's not there the, the, the heart of the cpu is getting bigger in that situation so i honestly i i think 204 or 2004 versus the 1909 oh my gosh it's so much better it feels a little bit like linux actually a tiny bit and i know very little about linux and it just made me vibe about it but looking on these situations so far so freaking good so let's look at our fire strike test with the 1080 60 with six gigs so i mean we're going with your basic standard for everyone that's kind of watching going like hey does this really work for a normal gpu and this is with the newer thermal place i cleaned her out this freaking gpu runs optimal very optimal actually uh, more than optimal so first at the gate we're looking at a normal score from the old school driver and i'm, I'm not going to go too much into the old school driver because i kind of thought the old school driver was trash and um the stability of the newer one is actually pretty good i, I kind of like it so I, I recommend it to my community check it out the 1060 worked really really good and if you're having some issues i'm going to try to upload and, and edit a video of how you can rip apart your gpu and just change your thermal paste that like literally is like changing the oil in your car you need to do it at least once a year to have some really great gameplay and not have any issues long to activity wise because when you look at the situation between driver to driver then that's pretty good with the current one. I mean, that's a good leap. And then you look at the new Windows update and we're, we're just slamming home runs for performance for a normal freaking card with a normal heart inside of there for like your 67K. Cause I know a lot of my community is like, Mac, why don't you get a better freaking Intel rig? Well, guess what? I'm thinking about it nowadays. But if you are new to the network and you haven't already subscribed, you should definitely go ahead and subscribe down below. We got more to go. But I'd like you to know it's completely free and helps me as a creator. And for all the community members out there, thank you so much. I've been seeing the affiliate accounts on the Amazon like uh, purchase points going up. I, I mean, it every little bit kind of counts in that situation. And you guys are just literally shopping by just clicking that link and then doing your normal shopping and it helps me. So cheers. I appreciate you. Uh, but let's get back to the news and what's going on. I want to make that like a freaking little bubble pop. But that's it. So with bringing it right up to the situation of going into the next extreme portions with pushing it, it continues to trend. Like, I cannot believe how smooth 2004 feels for Windows and for like the Intel platform, because I have just integrated a little bit over to my AMD and that's where I saw a little bit of reduction. So I need to test that with my other AMD. And for my AMD community, you're gonna be getting a really fun mid patch note pretty soon. Cause you know, AMD hasn't given us a newer patch note. I know, I know I'm getting to it, but so far so good. So let's go to the ultra. And it's just unbelievable. Like seriously, like they did an amazing job. Windows, Good job. I don't like to say that every so often because I've been like with a slew of crap between them. Like you drive me nuts. Like sometimes I'll just be sitting there like what happened? And then I, I go like, wait, 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 hold on. Update her Siri. Ah, oh, Windows. You know what I mean? You're like, damn it. Or like OBS isn't working because Windows did something like it's, it's crazy as a creator trying to make stuff and live your life around it. But if you guys continue to trend like this, I like you. You know, I'm still gonna try Intel clear though when that comes out. Cause I think that that's gonna be amazing. But anyways, getting back to the point, let's go ahead and get to our time spy. DirectX 11, here we come, because DirectX freaking 12 is going to be our next step, because we're done. DirectX 11 is completely finished, I know. <laughs> we jumped into the future. Let's do it. Taking a closer look at the situation, you can see that it just completely trends. It's just really, really freaking good. Like, I, I'm hoping that everyone has a chance to install this and hopefully it works really, really well. By the way, I do have the technical driver uh, patch notes for everyone. If you want to like kind of get those later on, I'll have this link linked down below for as far as that. But for the final test, let's go ahead and dive directly into the Ultra, which was pretty hardcore on my card. And I can definitely see how six gigs with an old school 1060 doesn't work for 4K at all. Now, this is the one where you kind of see a little bit of reduction, a tiny bit. But you know what? If it's just a tiny bit, that's completely fluctuable. Four to five points, which we're going to see right here as we kind of move into the next portion of what is 204. And here we go. So I'd like to thank everyone. Definitely give it a try. 
install the new nvidia driver if you have issues install 2004 because this is exactly what they were planning for so nvidia amd were planning on windows doing a gigantuan update and like gosh dang that thing was huge like it, it like literally my computer was down for like almost about 20 minutes maybe for my intel rig and about the same about 17 minutes for my Threadripper when I was installing it on my AMD in order to run both tests for my 2080 Ti, which is situated with my AMD Threadripper 19 or no 29 uh, 50x, and then I ran the 1060 um, Extreme version that I have inside of this with my Intel, like the 67K. So, like, it, it completely operated a little bit different, like, with the way the speed it seems like the Intel took the new Windows update a lot more accelerated versus the AMD kind of just trucked and then just kind of like locked and, like, that's what they do. They just like a bulldozer, it just keeps going. Um, but yeah, I like to think that these are really beautiful updates. Um, I'm really interested to hear what the community has to say down below. If you're new to the show, well, then you should definitely take the next ticket for the next episode. It's absolutely free. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe it'll be a classic. It's just like Pickle Rick. And who can't say no to Pickle Rick except for Jaguar? But then they become friends. So see, no one can. So you should totally subscribe and slam this like Liberty Bell. It's like this little like notification thing. So you get like these tech writer things. Just like push, you break it. It's cool. YouTube wants you to and I do too. And pick some videos. They're like up above. Like they're like floating. In fact, my head's probably like, you know, headless video chat man, 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 man. All right, everyone. Later.